So when I received my 2021 tax return, I had a late receival fee. And so they had charged me around $600. So I mailed them a letter back and they've decreased it to zero because they figured out they were wrong. So if they ever try to bill you for something, be sure to uh, send them a letter and normally they'll get it corrected for you. So as you can see, we're in the process of kind of loading everything up. What we normally do is on this trailer here, we're doing another maintenance right today. So we'll put all of our equipment on here. So this is solely maintenance for the most part, unless if we're getting stock, just because it's easier to unload without sides. Right here, we've got our dump trailer. Um, and the purpose of the dump trailer is only for projects. So we don't use it for anything other than projects. And then the bed of the truck is kind of miscellaneous. So what we try to do is you can see there's some rake shovels and then peat moss seed and a spreader for our first job this morning. What we try to do is use the back of the truck for maintenance debris and um, equipment for projects. So it's kind of half and half depending on what trailer we have. Um, but we try to kind of mix it and then we'll put maintenance equipment as well into the back of the truck and that just allows for us to be able to have all of our equipment where we can easily access it this rack here so th these are green touch racks right here um, the green touch racks we installed them on our trailer with bolts as you can see at the bottom let me flip this around so i can see it better and so we put in this bracket here to hold it because they were wiggling back and forth. I don't know if anyone else has this issue with them. They were wiggling back and forth so the trimmers would come out of this side and hang. So we installed this bar, but what we didn't know is on this side where we mounted the bar, there's actually a bracket, a tube that slides all the way through. So we didn't notice that. And so what happened basically is it locked up the whole rack. So we have to remove that and come up with another way of securing it so that the whole bracket isn't just locked up but it's not a huge deal just something that we need to get to and do so for the meantime we're putting all of the equipment into the back of the truck so our first project out here we spread seed in this area and then we've also put down some biodegradable seed covers in the ditches there you can see over there on that side as well so we put those and those have seed inside of them so when you water them uh, the seed just kind of sticks to the ground a little better. And so we laid those after we dug out those drains. It's the same job that we put yesterday. We've blown out the gutters, mowed the lawn, as well as mowing in the backyard. And so these gutters actually have a gutter net on them. And what that means basically is the straw will get stuck in the netting of the gutter. And so it makes it where we have to clean them out every two weeks but it keeps uh, the downspouts from clogging there. So, I mean, that is the upside to it. But, so, that's our first project for the day. We've got, I think, five or six left. This job was 415. properties like this that are just kind of run down and real overgrown when you start are actually normally normally real good customers and they're a good fit for us because we can swing in and knock them out so as you can see the cut definitely isn't perfect and what it is is the homeowner is just looking to keep it maintained as nobody lives here it's in a rougher part of the um, so we can charge a little extra just because it is so rough 
it's abandoned. A lot of times there's homeless people that are living inside. And so it doesn't hurt to take on these properties as long as you and your guys are comfortable with it. And as you can see, the cut's not perfect, but like for this one, we charge around $45 and it doesn't take us, but 20 minutes or so, 10, 20 minutes with three guys. So you make good money. Rick's about to blow off and Joey's over there weeding. But you make good money on them as long as you can uh, set your expectations with the customers well. property being owned by uh, Key South currently and so what they're looking to have done is they can leave clean up on the property maybe some trimming up the shrubs for the extra but they just want everything cleaned up and then mowed regularly it doesn't look like that backyard is owned by them well yeah it is so there's the backyard there and we'll pull this out and so what we do is we type out the book for this based off of the videos that we take and we call them project management videos and so then how we estimate our jobs is we give them a budgeted amount of time for each project so we have a certain hourly rate that we charge and we just multiply how long that job will take us by that hourly rate and so then that's how we come up with our price and then if there's ever anything such as uh, delivery fees, materials, things like that that's just added to the labor rate and then we break it down in the line items for the customer. But we just take a video such as this and then come up with how long the job will take and we text the customer quote through our software and we use Java. up all of the properties for today uh, we've got some properties left tomorrow to finish up as well uh, the job that we did two days ago we're going to run back to um, they'd like some more plants planted so we'll be doing that tomorrow as well we've got the plants in the back of the truck um, but other than that that closes out the day I'm gonna be trying to work on some more fitness stuff so I may try to get some of that on video if I can um, I'm gonna be trying to do uh, get to 315 on bench press and maybe do some other cardio type stuff. So I'll try to document that if I have a chance and get that recorded for y'all. So we'll see how that goes. See you tomorrow. Thanks.